will start with the basic understanding of technical textiles before going to specific areas. So, to understand technical textiles, so we have to know the basic definition. So, the textiles exist dates back to several thousand years ago and clothing being one of the primary need of human being. But if we see the technical textiles, the way in which we perceive today, it is quite younger. And if we see that last two or three decades, we have seen tremendous growth in the application of fibrous materials in non-conventional sectors. Non-conventional means non-apparel, non-home furnishing areas. These are like protective clothing, medical products like medical textiles, automotive components, geotextiles, building materials, sports and many other areas. <coughs> so, now we use textile materials in these areas for specific technical purpose. That is why we may term these textiles as technical textiles. So, this newer application, so when we talk about the specific application that required development of polymers, newer polymers type of fibers and downstream processes to meet the specific challenge for a particular area. Like oven fabric, let us say oven fabric, we can use oven fabric for filter fab application or oven fabric for say thermal protective application. But their construction, their selection of fiber, finishing techniques will be entirely different depending on the application. So, in the textile industry, technical textiles are the most dynamic one and are promising area for future of the textile industry. Now, if we talk about the traditional textile, as far as textile industry is concerned, it is getting saturated, stagnant, there is no scope or very little scope of development. Although in apparel, fashion industries they are doing well, but as far as textile manufacturing is concerned for apparel and home furnishing of non technical application rather it is getting saturated. So, it is very important to shift towards the technical textile areas for the survival of the textile industry. So, let us try to understand the difference between technical and traditional textiles. This will help us in understanding the ways to develop technical textile and to shift from traditional to technical textiles. So, in technical textile we use the product mainly in non textile industry like if it is automotive textiles the automotive industries are using filter fabric different industries are using the filter fabric, but 
in traditional textile basically limited to clothing and home furnishing. The technical textiles are designed to perform heavy duty and demanding application like fire protective clothing. Apparently, it looks a normal clothing, but it has to perform specific application like it has to be fire retardant, heat protection, protection from extreme heat, it has to be breathable so that moisture generated in the skin should come out, it should be water impermeable. So, there are very specific requirements. If we talk about the geotextiles, their requirements are entirely different, but in traditional textiles no such stringent requirements are there. Even in traditional textiles the strength is not that important, because the once the product is developed or uh, production process is done. So, we do not need that much strength like in weaving we need strength of yarn uh, that is enough, but in when we come to the fabric area basically in traditional textiles aesthetic comfort these are the characteristics which is which are important. In technical textile generally we use high performance fibers, yarns, chemicals. These are required to meet the specific performance. Basically that if we talk about the fire protective clothing again, we use metaramid fiber which is fire protective very high melting point, but in traditional textiles we normally do not need any special fibers, yarns or fabric conversion technique. Conventional fibers, yarns are generally used in technical textiles we require special method and specially built machine to manufacture technical textiles, but in traditional textiles we do not need specialty machines to produce the traditional product. Like in technical textiles we may need composite manufacturing for composite we need very special machines, we will discuss in detail or maybe filter fabric, we may need nanofiber coating. So, that require specialty manufacturing technique, but in traditional textiles we do not need such machinery. Regular machines are capable to produce the traditional textile products. Another important aspect is that this technical textiles are generally very expensive. So, it is expected to last longer not only due to the cost, but the expected life should be long because the other parameter other structures are dependent on the technical textiles. Like for geotextiles 
once we lay the geotextile under the ground say for railway track construction or roadway construction, the life should be very long. Otherwise, we cannot afford to change frequently. On the other hand, traditional textiles are little bit cheaper in price and we do not expect longer life. For technical textiles, we need specific test methods, because the requirement of technical textiles are very specific, which we do not need in case of traditional textiles. Like geotextile, for geotextile we need very very specific test methods like repeated loading, long term uh, clogging behavior, surface adherence characteristics which we do not need for traditional textiles. So, all these aspects we will discuss in detail. Now, let us try to first understand what are technical textiles as far as literature is concerned. The technical textiles are value added textile products that provide added functionality and applications other than regular fiber to fashion supply chain. So, we need some added functionality. Regular fiber to fashion supply chain is ok, but if we add some functionality, then we will call those products as technical textile products. Like normal fabric, normal fiber to fashion supply chain products, if we say impart one extra functionality like UV protection that will become technical textile product or maybe antibacterial finishing we can call that as technical textile product or functional product and this technical textile encompass high performance fiber yarn and different type of conversion techniques like oven, knitted, non-oven, braided as well as composite structures. So, the simple understanding of technical textile is, so this technical textiles can be any fibrous material and their combination with other items which have non apparel application excluding paper. Paper we do not consider as technical textile product although it is made of very short fibers. So, by standard definition the technical textile is defined as these are the textile material and products manufactured primarily for their technical and performance properties rather than their aesthetic and decorative characteristic. Although this we consider as standard definition, but it has got limitations. So, in this definition we term filter fabric, geotextiles, medical product, protective clothing, tire cord, composite in aerospace. These are the areas we can bring all this area within this definition, but such narrow description however, constrict the scope of technical textiles since there are textile products that combine the dual performance that is 
performance as well as aesthetic or decorative properties. So, aesthetic and decorative properties are also important and if we add some performance then we may call them as technical textiles like flame retardant furnishing, breathable laser wire. So, these are technical textiles. So, a furnishing fabric if we impart flame retardancy although its basic function is decorative performance, but if we impart flame retardancy then it will become technical textiles. So, first then we can ask why do we need technical textiles? The areas in various industries where other technical materials like normal we use steel were being used for centuries together, the technical textile could make their foray to replace the conventional materials due to various advantages. So, the conventional technical materials are being replaced by technical textiles gradually. The main advantages of technical textiles over conventional products like steel or wood are their flexibility, their elasticity, strength and design possibilities. The strength means specific strength if we compare the technical textile product the specific strength that means strength offered per unit mass is much much higher. So, tire cord fabric a textile construction provide 75 percent of total strength of automotive tire. So, these are the textile products textile structure composites the composite parts used in automotive, aerospace, civil and mechanical engineering applications they are mainly used for the they are lightweight and they are stronger than steel as far as specific strength is concerned. So, now automotive and aerospace body parts are produced from textile composites due to reduction in mass. So, if we see the Asia's influence on the global textile market, technical textile market, there are basically four players China, India, South Korea and Taiwan and the main sectors are automotive, infrastructure, agriculture, protective textiles, medical and healthcare textiles. These are the major sectors apart from these sectors there are many other sectors also coming up. Now, if we see the technical textile scenario in India unfortunately, it is not picked up, but we are gradually uh, trying to pick the market. The technical textile consumption in India is one fifth of total Asian consumption or consumption is one fifth of total Asian consumption and employment growth is expected at 13 percent and around 
3 million people were involved in technical textile sector. But if you see the non oven products, it is only 3 percent of Asia's product. So, total three, so we have tremendous scope in non oven sector and the areas of Indian textile industry, if you see the technical textile industry mainly packaging sector we are doing here little bit home textiles and industrial textiles mainly filter fabric and conveyor belts like this. So, we need to focus all these areas although average growth rate is 12 percent, but our if you see the actual production expected production in billion dollar it is 8.4 billion dollar in protect. This is the this is the major area India is doing well, but we must concentrate in other areas also. So, we must see what are the reasons why then the Indian textile technical textile industry has not grown yet. The main requirements for growth of technical textile sector in India are this reasons are that lack of awareness how to make finished or convert technical textile products. So, we are lacking the awareness of making the finished product. Marketing know how to sell and trade the technical textile products. So, we must understand the need of the customers. Technical textile sector in India should know where and how technical textiles are used on a daily basis. So, these are the areas if we focus we will be able to generate the job opportunity and enhance the production capabilities. The global perspective for technical textile India, India's specialty fabric and non oven industry is fragmented. So, we have industries technical, but they are in very small players are there, it is totally fragmented. No big industries are there which are working on only technical textiles or non ovens and the industries are also not very interested in setting up state of the art technology as compared to the global players. We are majorly dependent on the import of technical textiles, but we must change our mindset. Textile industry is also undergoing a major reorientation from apparel to specialty fabric application. So, this is good sign, but this reorientation is not that fast. Although the focus of the government is upgrading the infrastructure where geosynthetics are used and increasing the use of automotive textiles where non-ovens are majorly used. So, government is trying hard in introducing technical textiles in India, 
other niche areas are safety and protective textiles which are mainly used for defense personnel, medical textiles, agricultural textiles like net, shading and industrial textiles basically filter fabrics. These are the areas where we have great scope in India. Now, coming to the classification of technical textiles. So, broadly the technical textiles are classified in three areas. They are classified based on raw material, based on manufacturing process and based on areas of application. So, if we see the raw materials, they are again classified in various classes. The fibers are natural fibers, where we may use flax, hemp, remy, cotton, wool, these are the jute. So, these are the fibers natural fibers which we use for technical textiles, regenerated fibers viscous rayon acetate they are also used in technical textiles, they have specific properties. Synthetic fibers like polyester, polyamide, polyacrylonitrile. So, these are the normal synthetic fibers, mineral fibers are also used glass, ceramic, asbestos. So, these are the fibers which we use in technical textiles products and metals. So, these are the raw materials we use for technical textiles. As far as the conversion process is concerned, we use conventional weaving also, knitting, warp knitting, web knitting we use. In weaving depending on the requirement, we sometimes use narrow oven fabric like seat belt in car or tape. So, these are the narrow weaving we use and broad weaving also we sometimes use if we use say geotextile, oven geotextile where we need wide width weaving. These are not re required for apparel application. Another way is non oven weight laying thermal bonding or chemical bonding, needle punching. So, these are the areas we use. As far as applications are concerned, the technical textiles are classified in different areas. Agricultural application, structural application, geotextile, military and defense application, safety and protective application, transportation, architectural construction, filtration, medical application, paper making, machine clothing application, sports and recreation, general industrial application like conveyor belts and all these applications. These are the few areas apart from this there are many areas of application. So, after this classification basically the textile one leading international trade exhibition organization for technical textile they have classified 
the technical textiles in 12 main areas or applications. What are these areas? First is agrotech. Agrotech is basically it is the technical textiles used for mainly agriculture, aquaculture, horticulture or forestry application. So, whatever textiles we used specially for these areas are coming under agrotech. Biltech basically it is a building and construction like fiber reinforced concrete this technical textiles will come under build tech or composites also. Cloth tech basically technical components for footwear or clothing. Nowadays we will see in footwear majority of the components are basically textile these are the these are coming under cloth tech. Geotech as applications are geotextiles and civil engineering application. So, this geotextile geotech are different from agrotech and biltech, although sometime it may overlap. Home tech the technical textile products which are used as the components of furniture, floor covering, household textiles, these all are coming under home tech. Indu tech basically it is these are the filtration, industrial filtration, conveying, cleaning and other industrial application. Med tech basically hygiene and medical applications mobile tech, automobile, shipping, railway and aerospace application, Ocotech mainly environment protection, textiles used for environment protection like filter may also come into environmental protection, Ocotech, pack tech it is basically used for packaging where our country is doing well, protect personal and property protection like extreme heat or fire protective clothing, extreme cold protective clothing these are all coming under this protect, sport tech basically sports and leisure wear. So, these are the 12 areas the textile technical textiles are divided in based on the areas of application. Now, let us understand the variables, what are the variables in the production of technical textiles. First variable is the selection of polymer. We cannot use polymers randomly depending on the type of application, type of functional requirement we have to select the polymer. Whether we need thermoplastic or thermoset polymer that depends on the areas of application. Crystallinity and molecular weight typically influence the fiber property. So, we have to decide the crystallinity and molecular weight, we have to select accordingly. Next is that the type of fiber as I have already mentioned the there are different types of fibers natural fiber or synthetic fiber. So, depending on the application 
we may select natural fiber or man made fiber. If we need high strength, very high strength, say uh, bullet proof clothing, we cannot use normal natural fiber like cotton, flax, jute all. There we have to use high performance fiber like Kevlar, we normally use for very high strength composite manufacturing, we normally use carbon. So, depending on the application area, we have to decide the type of fiber and also whether we need the filament or staple that also depends on the areas of application. Suppose we want to entrap higher amount of air within the structure, we may go for staple fiber. Sometime we need fiber with higher shape factor for better weakability. So, so we have to decide depending on the application. Next comes the type of yarn, staple yarn, monofilament, multifilament, twisted, textured, these are the different types of yarn and this methods of selection of type of yarn, whether we will go for monofilament yarn or multifilament yarn, staple yarn or whether it is a twistless or twisted depends on the type of application and we may select different methods of staple yarn production like ring spun, rotor spun, air jet, friction, they are used in technical textiles, but depending on the type of application. After yarn, then comes the fabric, converting the yarn to fabric. As far as oven and knitted are concerned, we need to first select yarn, then the fabric, but non oven we get directly from the fiber. And for higher performance, many technical textile product we use multi layer. So, selection of single layer or multi layer, or sometimes we use three dimensional fabric to have required characteristics. And after everything polymer, fiber, yarn, fabric, the finishing technique is extremely important where we can impart special properties like special coating, breathable coating or maybe water repellent coating, anti static coating or maybe anti soil coating. So, different types of coatings are there where which we can impart through finishing techniques. Now, if we see the fiber properties, so this I will discuss in next class till then thank you.